so I found some snow. There's still actually snow and ice around. But the good news is, and the birds are talking to me and telling me it's springtime, so it's time to start opening up gardens. We can look at this garden here as an example of things that we need to do. One of the first things that I do is I go around and I look at some of the trees and shrubs. And I look for dead wood, little pieces of, of wood that have died throughout the winter. So we want to take those off. We want to give the, the tree or the shrub the best chance to, to grow and flourish in the ne into the next season. So I've made a few cuts here. And I don't know if you can, you can bring it up really close, but it's important that I haven't shaved this or made this cut right against the, the wood, cutting off this little collar around where the stem was. It's important to keep that collar. That's how the tree grows around this and, and closes this wound. So if I were to make a cut on one of these live branches, you can see I want to cut it right above one of these buds here, okay? But I want to leave a little bit of tissue so that I don't destroy the bud. So I put my secateur slightly above and I can make that cut. So you can see there that the bud is maintained and there's not a stub that's left. So you can, you can, uh, you know, however far you want to go with it, um, you can, you can just do that. So there's a little bit more deadwood here. You can make those cuts. Mike's telephone's ringing. He didn't turn it off. But we'll keep going. Okay, so some of the other things. We'll introduce you to some tools. So right here, we have the fan rake. So we have a whole patch of Ecolon here. And one thing we like to do, just to, uh, to get some of the, the dead pieces of it, is just give it a bit of a hard rake with this, uh, with this fan rake. Just to take some of this, this dead material out. Okay, this thatch buildup. And we'll take that away. One of the other things we do is we want to edge all of the gardens. Can I see the edge of Chris? So Chris has been edging around here a little bit and you can see the purpose for this is that you're maintaining very clean, sharp lines within the garden. You're creating a little bit of a trough so that in the next step when we're mulching, we throw the mulch down and it just flows down into that trough. So maintaining a very clean line. The other thing is with our mulch, we've said this before, is we don't use a dyed mulch. We use a partially composted mulch. And the reason for partially composted is that there's a lot of microorganisms in it already. Uh, there's fungi, bacteria, amoebas, ciliates, all kinds of little creatures, nematodes. And they come with the mulch. They get into the soil and they break everything down. That's where the nutrients come from for your plants. All right, uh, you can see I've, uh, with the mulch here, I've put it into little piles all the way around the garden that, that has been edged, which Colin has talked about. And what we do is we just rake it into, uh, we rake it around nice and flat into a layer that's about two and a half to three inches. And you can see the difference from this part of the garden to this part of the garden that hasn't been edged and mulched. It has a clean look and it's really going to deter weeds from growing as well. Whew. Got to take a break. I'm uh, lightning fast here. As you can see, everything's uh, finished up. We have all the, the mulch that's been raked out at two and a half to three inches. And it has spilled nicely into the edging that uh, Colin has talked about earlier. And this is, uh, you can see how clean it looks. And it's really going to deter weeds from growing as well. So it's really low maintenance when you add this mulch. 